Hey guys, welcome to Elevated Systems. I'm your host, CJ. In 2019, 53.6 million tons of e-waste was generated, and of that, only about 17.4% was recycled. The amount of e-waste dumped into landfills worldwide is projected to hit 75 million tons by 2030. However, if you're watching this channel, like me, you probably have a box of old tech stored somewhere. You know, the bin of old cell phones, consoles, computer parts, laptops, keyboards and mice, all tangled in a mass of cables you might need again one day. So for now, it's safe from the landfill, but how can we keep it that way? I mean, eventually you'll realize you never gonna find a use for that old Palm Pilot you got for your first job back in 99, unless maybe you turn it into art. Now, you've probably seen these shadow boxes containing broken down iPhones and Game Boys, all laid out and labeled. They're becoming pretty popular and there are several companies out there now where you can buy these really cool art places like this company, XReArt. The difference with XReArt is while they do sell a good selection of completed tech shadow boxes, they also have these, a full line of DIY frames. So they sent me this iPhone 5 frame, which is all diagrammed and labeled. And I pulled my old iPhone 5 out of my bin of old tech and I'm gonna tear it down and assemble this shadow box. Now, to assist in the teardown, XRayArt also sent me an iPhone teardown toolkit, so I'll use this for the job and to mount everything. I have some clear industrial adhesive. XRayArt didn't send the glue with the kit. You can buy it from them, and this is essentially what you get. I think I got this from Home Depot for under five bucks. I'll also be trying some hot glue just to see which is better for the job, so, I think I'm just gonna get to work and then I'll let you know what I thought of the whole experience. So I guess it's time to just cue the unbuild montage. And there it is. It's actually the next morning. I gave the glue a chance to set overnight before I started messing with it. But before I get into the shadow boxing experience, I should say that this is not a paid promotion. XRIART didn't pay me to make this video, but they did send me the shadow box to check out. So I'll do what I do with any review product and review it as a product. 
First, this is the second frame XReArt sent me because the first one got so destroyed in shipping that the USPS didn't even deliver it. And they just sent it to their we destroyed your package warehouse. I blame the postal service until I received this one. The outer package is just this single layer of bubble wrap inside of which was this flimsy box on top of which was the toolbox. You can actually see where it caved in the top here. Luckily, this one arrived intact because the only protection in here is a thin piece of foam. I got lucky with this one. Now, the shadow box or the frame itself, depending on which one you get, cost $59 or $69. This one is $69. It's a $20 Walmart frame tops. It's a softwood frame, very thin acrylic, cardboard backer with plastic retention clips. This one is brand new and out of the box, it already has chips along the edge. Now, I kind of have mixed feelings on this. On the one hand, what you're really paying for is the full planned and diagrammed layout of the exploded device you're shadow boxing. Because the hardest part of taking a piece of tech or anything apart and shadow boxing it is getting it all laid out logically and looking good. Figuring out how far to break it down, which parts are important, which aren't, how to label and diagram it, that part can take days. Trust me, I've done shadow boxing like this from scratch and it's not as easy as it looks. So paying for convenience, I can support that to a degree. However, for the price, I can go down to the local frame shop and get something a lot better. The toolkit again at $39, it's overpriced for what you get, and the bottom line is it wasn't sufficient for the job. A suction cup is essential to open the iPhone 5, and this one just wasn't up to the task. Luckily, I have another one so I could get the job done, but if you need a very basic set of tools to disassemble most phones, I recommend the iFixit Essentials Kit at only $25. Disassembly was simple. The iPhone 5 is from that time when it was actually pretty easy to do things like swap out a screen or a battery in your iPhone yourself. XReArt has QR codes that will bring you to teardown videos for various phones. They also have written guides on their website. Now, not every product has a guide. The iPhone 5 didn't, but you guys are on YouTube right now. So, you know, if there's a device in existence, then there's a video on how to disassemble it. Now, if you're doing an iPhone 10 or older, a standard toolkit like this one is all you really need to take it apart, but the processor and chips on the logic board are covered with soldered on heat shields, and I wanted to see the A6 chip in the display, so luckily I have a rework station, so I was able to heat up the shield and get it off with no trouble, but this is the one area you will need specialized equipment like a heat gun. Once I got everything disassembled, I just laid out all the parts on the diagram to make sure I had everything. I did have a few parts left over. From there, it was just gluing the parts in place. Now, I did need to fill in some of the empty space in the front and back covers with cardboard so I had adequate surface area to glue down. These and the heavier battery are the only parts I used hot glue to secure. For everything else, the industrial adhesive worked just fine. To get a complete but thin coat of glue, I used these applicators I had on hand, which are actually for lubing mechanical key switches, but they work perfectly for this job. Once I got everything glued in place, I just let the display sit overnight, then I reassembled the frame. And in the end, I'm more than happy with the overall product. While this is becoming less of a unique style of art, as you can just spend $149 and buy this as a completed piece, the fact that this was my daily driver iPhone, like. 10 years ago, and I took it apart and did this myself, definitely makes it a more meaningful and deeper conversation piece. And while I do think the frame itself for what you get is a bit overpriced, as far as I can tell, XReArt is the only one out there selling DIY kits, so I mean, there is that. And ultimately for me, it's not really about the cost of this. It's about the fact that this iPhone is gonna live on my wall now, not in a landfill. So for that fact alone, if you have an old iPhone, Apple Watch, Game Boy, I think they have Samsung phones coming soon, I definitely recommend an XReArt DIY kit as a way to repurpose your device. You can check out all their DIY kits as well as their fully completed frames in the link below. Be sure to hit that like while you're down there and let me know if you wanna see more projects like this. I actually have an old dead MacBook Pro I was thinking about doing a full scratch build shadow box for, so be sure to subscribe for that and I'll see you there.